uh, you're probably familiar with famous brands, of course, like Coca-Cola, Hallmark. The thing to realize is that what backs up the value of these brands is their registered trademarks. And so the names, the slogans, the logos that are used to identify them are that backstop. So we work with your branding specialist, we work with your marketing department in order to identify and capture the value of those brands. This begins by both identifying the brands you're currently using as well as the ones that you would like to use. So typically this engagement takes place over about four to six weeks and in the first meeting we're, we're going to spend it identifying down to fine detail the brands you use and, and most clients are really surprised to learn how many uh, marks that they're actually using and, and sometimes you don't even realize that phrases and slogans and words you're using could be registrable under trademark law uh, you just got to decide to do it uh, in addition we want to take a look at what your projected product and service paths are and this is where working hand in hand with your branding specialist becomes really important because typically there's a really creative guys and ladies and they're working at aligning the the look and feel that you're trying to establish for your customer and, and express that through the brands that that they're trying to develop uh, one of the last things they typically think about however is can you actually use and register this mark so that you can make it your own and will you be sued if you choose to go and use that mark that's unfortunately a situation i've run into uh, when many people call me for the first time after taking an inventory of what marks you have and what you're looking to to develop we next want to evaluate and evaluate uh, like in the e5 system simply means doing searches so we want to broadly search the competitive landscape for the logos names and slogans they're using to identify their brands and then show you where your branding fits in this competitive space and where it looks like your branding is going again within the competitive space the third step in the process is to prioritize the marks particularly for for where you are trying to build your brand looking forward uh, my experience is that if you've not been through this process before and when clients haven't been through this process before they typically come in in this early step one with five or ten marks that they want to use in the future and by the time we're finished doing the evaluations and prioritization steps uh, frequently they're they're going to have to let go of as many as two-thirds of the names and slogans that they have selected as their highest desirable ones uh, either because they're not protectable or because someone else has already established uh, branding using a name that would be too similar to those the fourth step in the process is to equip and now we're back on the e5 path because equip just means to file for registrations for the marks and then again along the e5 path we look at enforcing the marks that do get registered look at this as a long-term process so again when it comes to strategy uh, for the, your branding as opposed to just a single mark now you're you're looking you're going meta you're looking at how your branding and and the marks that you register fit in the overall market space and how you can position that branding to increase your value uh, and increase the affinity that your consumers have with you uh, moving forward. So I look forward to working with you and seeing you in the next video. Of course, we have more information below. And if you'd like a consultation, send me a note.